What's up, Hills and Baby Faces? It is me, that guy Tommy, with Captain City WrestleCast, and I'm here with the absolute best, the world champion, Mr. Nick Nemeth. How are you doing today, sir? Fantastic, especially now that I know them, the absolute best. I mean, that's <laughs> lump and court. Well, I'm, I, I'm just glad Moose was just close enough to hear it. I, I know you. You might have been. Hey, look, here's Moose. He's the second best at best. Yeah, all right. I'm not going to make it out of here alive. Okay. Uh, Probably not. <laughs> Well, first of all, it's an honor to get to talk to you. Uh, TNA Victory is this Friday. How much are you looking forward to it being back in San Antonio and everything? Very much so. Uh, when I got to the airport, it takes a, it takes a little effort yeah. to look around and go, oh, right, I've been at this airport <laughs> hotel area 37 other times. I'm like, there's the Chipotle. There's the LA Fitness. There's the hotel that I'm going to. And I just know, you just know the best part about it really is not just knowing where you are once in a while. Yeah. But it's having I, – I know the tradition that goes into – Texas wrestling. Right. I know the Von Erics. I know the Freebirds. Yeah. One of my mentors at work was Michael Hayes. I, and he just tell me stories. So I know and feel and hear those crowds out there. Yeah. I love getting back to San Antonio. You can say that about any city, blah, blah, blah. I'm so great to be here in Syracuse. It's different when you're in Texas yeah. and you, you're in the city that you know you felt those crowds. Yeah. Like you feel it in your body. You get like the tingles on your arms when you go out there. Like the the tradition is there, but also they are great fans for wrestling. Yeah, the, this this is absolute wrestling town. I I, yeah. t- uh, I tell people who don't know about it, like you, you, literally every weekend you can look. There's a show happening. Oh, yeah. in San Antonio, and that's the best part of it. It's not all just one company or no, no. two or three. Yeah. There is independent wrestling all over the mm-hmm. place. Half the stuff that I've never even heard of, but you're like, no, it's right down the road. Or Saturday, I talked to Hernandez. They got a show Sunday. Yeah. It's like everybody's got shows going on. I'm like, I love hearing. That it's not just a great time for three wrestling companies. It's a yeah. great time for like three hundred thousand wrestling companies. There's like there's Everybody's like four, there's like four schools going right now. They're not, Isn't that they're, great they're, news. They all have, they all have like classes tonight too. I love so, that. Yeah. It's just it's good to see so many people involved in wrestling. And in a world where it's really easy to speak negatively about anything, yeah. When you go like, hey, this is great. TNA's numbers are up. We're gonna probably sell out on Friday night. Like this, it's like it makes me so happy because yeah. I know the hard work that the roster has put in, but right. also the people behind the scenes with TNA. Yeah. Even Scott Tamora recruiting me in the TNA, you yeah. know, he's not there. His part that he's done to lay that infrastructure for like the plan to just slowly build it back up mm-hmm. step by step. And now I know all the Mike Bailey, Jordan Grace, yeah. Josh Bailey against yeah. the Hardys, myself. I hope we keep bringing a few more people. But the important part is once you get in that door and you know that entire roster is going to steal the show. <laughs> and then Moose and I got to go on after all of them yeah. <laughs> and steal it back from them. So that's a great problem to have. I was going to ask you how that felt because I pretty, much, pretty much every TNA pay-per-view is a game of can you top yeah. this? Because you think, okay, this match might be a throwaway, but then it's like one of the best matches you've seen that night. Yeah. You're like, oh, I got to top that. And it's the next match and the right. next match. And then you get to the main event. Like that can't be the best. And then it yeah. still somehow steals the show. That's, that's the best part, I think. I feel like the fans keep coming back more and more and every time we go back to another place it's like we sold 10 percent more tickets and other people were talking about us. So we had a little bit more buzz online joe henry just <laughs> out uh getting a link clicked out beat the rock and wrestlemania going to nxt and he's gonna be on our show too and it's like everything is clicking for pro wrestling and really for tna and joe henry he's even on itunes he's even right. he's even breaking he's yeah. yeah how great what a great problem to have that is an amazing problem yeah to have, yeah so with, with TNA, and not just TNA, but pro wrestling as a whole seems to be winning right now. How does it feel to be like just in this kind of boom of pro wrestling, no matter where it is? It's all these different companies. TNA, who everyone said would, would be gone 18 years ago, and right. it's still going strong. How does it feel knowing that there's we're still in this boom of pro wrestling? Like I, I, the, the boom period, whether yeah. whether TNA didn't make it, yeah, <laughs> or WWE is having a downtime, or WCW is going under, or AEW is crushed, like... No matter who's up and down, when everything is hot at the same time, that is such a – it's hard to explain the inside part to where when it comes to talent going, man, it's WWE or nothing, and i got to stay here, and I don't like what I'm doing, and I'm sitting on the bench. And you go, no, wait. There's some other – not only is there 100,000 independent places out there you can go and and do your own thing or do like a Zack Ryder or Matt Cardona where he reinvents himself and – has sure. made a career like he's so much better off being an independent yeah. wrestler than being in any one of the top companies. Like, how cool is that? So when you know that that can happen, it's it's a great time to be a wrestling fan. Period. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. Saturday, and Sunday. Some weeks, so, yeah, it's on. And I know because I used to hate watching wrestling, and I got to watch it now for busted <laughs> open on Friday. So they make me do homework, and I'm like, all right, if I'm going to do homework, it's better be good. And I watched a whole Raw, a whole NXT, a whole time, and I go. This is rocking. What a yeah. great time for wrestling fans. No matter what company you are, no matter wh- where you are and what you're doing, you have more options 
than ever, and it is some of the absolute best. We all go, we go with nostalgia in the back, like attitude error. Good luck topping that. If you pay attention to some of that wrestling. It's real bad. Yeah, so yep. you have now, like, if you don't like a storyline, that's fine. But there's nine other good ones that you will like. And if you don't like a wrestler, just know he's probably a high a high flyer that can choke somebody out, tap yep. somebody out, do every move in the ring, sure. talk on the mic, just to get on a roster somewhere. That's a great problem to have. Absolutely everybody's is. fighting to be the best. Absolutely. And so taking a deck to this coming Friday, main event, Victory Road, how ready are you to defend that world championship? I've been ready for 15 years to defend the world title. I just finally get a stage to where I got a little leeway to do so. So I would be doing this interview right now, whether I was world champ or not, because mm -hmm. I want to be an ambassador for TNA. I love everybody behind the scenes that I've already said. Gail, Tommy, Ariel, they're pushing everything yeah. forward at a perfect pace, and they want to just slowly build a grassroots moment movement, and they really are. So, so far, all of that's in place. Now it is on me. Yeah. Not just to be the champion and go out there, but a legitimately – to steal the show from a show stealing card. Every <laughs> so paper like that every paper That's here. the reason it's sold out because people want to see it in person and they want to see what we do. And they go, they surely can't. Like you just said, yeah. like, I don't even care that much about this one. Like, Oh my God, how are they going to top that? Yeah. And then I got to go out there. I'm like, I got to top this. Yeah. And so far we've done it. Looking forward to it. Moose is the only person who's beaten me and I haven't beaten him. And I'm really nervous about that, but I'm the champion this time. Yeah. So he does, can't just get a disqualification or run away or have his buddies come out. Yeah. That'll be a disqualification. That would, so that he be. has to beat me. That's true. And right now, for the last 15 years, nobody can work as good as I can. I will not get tired. I will not take a day off. I will not get sick. I will not get hurt. I will just be the best damn champion there is. You guys heard it right here from the man himself. So, Tina Victory Road, this Friday, the main event star right here. It's going to be amazing. Guys, don't miss it. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, man. You got it, man. People should thank me more often. I, I agree with that. I agree. See you guys. When I'm messing yeah, with him, so that's right. all, so I, I fully it's mostly admit. on you. Okay. It, yeah, it's, it, it, it's is, it is. It is. It's good to know. Not always. The first time it wasn't my fault. Kind of. Everything that everybody says. Yeah, the first, every, but every time after that was 100 percent my fault. We made James Storm laugh because we were arguing. Right? <laughs>